And the winner is... G'day guys, so in this little fucking envelope here, if you guys can see through it, it's my little gauge pod. So I got a replacement one because my other one didn't fit my gauge because I miss said to the guy that made it, I said, oh, it's um, 52, but then when I remeasured it, it's 56. So this is a 56 mil gauge pod for my focus and it fits right on the vent it's gonna be mad because my other one broke so today i'm actually filming off my g7x so i'm sorry that the audio is not as good as usual but anyway guys i need to go out to my brother's place forever putting fucking fuel in this car holy shit onwards so lately I've been doing like physical activity for a minimum of an hour and a half. So I don't know if I can fit it in today because I've got a very tight schedule. Uh, but with saying that, I think we can do it. You know what the most dangerous thing is? Sneezing whilst driving. Like that shit there is the scariest shit of all. Hey, eh? it is the scariest shit of all also guys i'm going to be drawing the winner for the hoodie giveaway and the sticker pack giveaway today so i'm going to be putting it all in a, a um, randomizer a name generator thing and so it's not biased it's not going to be rigged and yeah i'm just going to be picking one of you guys so if you guys entered in my last video yep it could be you just to let you know but by the time this video comes out I would hopefully already have sent the hoodie and stuff away. But yeah, I'm gonna be doing more giveaways as well in the future if this, um, if you guys liked it. But um, yeah, if you guys think I should do more giveaways, I've got a few in mind that I wanna give away. Um, but yeah, if you guys, oh, I need to put this down, there's a fucking highway patrol. I just spotted a RS3. Without me getting sidetracked again, um, if you guys want me to do this in the near future, comment down below um, that you guys want more giveaways because I'll, I'll make it happen. I can make anything happen. But I can Sexy fireman, wow. This fucking merch is on fire, bruv. Who doesn't love a good smooth road? Oh, lovely. They're in an emergency, but they're flat out trying to get up the fucking gateway bridge. <laughs> oh, but I shut myself because I heard sirens just pop up out of nowhere. You hear Rorty, oh mate. Just go, just make up your home rules then. Right. Also, comment down below what you guys see as a picture on the back of that truck. Wanna know a joke? NBN is a joke. That's shit slow. You are my fire, the one desire. Believe when I say I won't. <laughs> Fun fact guys, you know she's wifey material when she wants an 86. Now some of you guys um, will probably get offended by me saying that, but the way I think of it is if she wants such a basic car, then you know she's not going to be hard to fucking manage, you know what I mean? Like, the bank account's fucking winning. Like, it's fucking winning, brother. And then here I am wanting, like, a fucking $100,000 car. I wish I was basic. I wish I was a basic white boy. Well, we made it here. And, um, yeah, I started the trip with 70 kilometers to go. And now I've only got 15. That's so sad. 
So just like I said earlier on, I'm going to be doing a um, the draw today. And these are all the names that have um, entered. So without further ado, um, good luck to everyone that have that has entered. Let's get it. And the winner is. AKA dot Jamie. So I'm going to be messaging you on Instagram and get that hoodie and sticker pack sent out to you. Look what I mean. <laughs> you don't buy these cars just to have fuel efficiency. That's for sure. Um, I literally just started the car and apparently I've got zero kilometers. When I parked up the car, I had, I think, 20 something kilometers. So do the maths. Someone siphoning out the fuel. What colour code is that? Dirt or mud? I don't think I've ever seen a H2 Hummer before. I could be wrong, that might be a H3, but it looks a little bit different to a H3 and a H1, so I think it's H2. Massive shout out to A to Z Motor Parts for lending me their lift. You guys would not believe what actually the noise is with when I'm going over bumps it's for something so simple yeah it was um fucking believe it or not very dangerous it was the brake caliper that was loose and yeah so we tightened both of them up because the other one was a little bit loose but yeah the right side which was banging around that was really loose so that would have been really dangerous but yeah, I can't thank them enough. If you guys are in the Brisbane region or not, I would highly suggest going through these guys for any parts whatsoever because they will match any price or even beat it. Um, which in my case, every time they've always beaten super cheap, Repco and all that because yeah, they're just top notch people. So check them out, call them up, be like, hey mate, um, I need this part. And it's they're really quick with everything, so yeah. Have a have a goosey gander. You guys don't understand. This feels amazing to drive now. There's no clunks, no bangs. It's amazing. Thank you, A to Z. I need to fill up again soon. All right, so I'm finally home from A to Z and going to fix this um, once and for all. Because yeah, as you can see, yeah, that's the wrong size. Okay, so I've got the gauge pod unmelted unmounted from there and so I've ripped off the top part there and then I'm just gonna unplug the wires out with the old in with the new so it's slightly wider uh, I had to alter the old one so I can fit the my gauge pod in but then it just snapped so I just reached out to the guy that made it for me and yeah so he just sent me in another one but it's a moment of truth I'm gonna see if I can fit this on so this gauge pod is, yep, too big now. So I'm just had enough of it. So I'm just gonna glue this to the vent and glue it down here so it doesn't wiggle around. But yeah, I shouldn't have to do this. But it is what it is when you pay only 20 bucks for a gauge pod. I call the bird's eye crutch view. Um, you can see my crutch and everything. Uh, I'm just using some adhesive. You can always use um, just super glue or whatever that you have handy. I'm just going to super glue this to this part here, then I'm going to super glue underneath there, and I'll show you the end result. Ah! There we go. She starts up nicely. Looks like I've killed two birds with one stone in this video, or maybe three birds with one stone. Who knows? Um, but yeah, so I've yet to, looks like I've killed two birds with one stone. I've fixed the gauge pod, uh, fixed slash installed the new one. Um, and also I fixed that stupid rattle. Every time I went over a little bump, it would go. <laughs> yeah, so I fixed that finally. Um, yeah, so it's been a pretty productive day. So yeah. If you guys enjoyed it, you know what to do. Slap a like on it. 
Also, subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet because it helps the channel. You guys don't understand. With all that said and done, stay fresh, stay clean, and I will see you in the next scene.